back at you. I just saw one of you over uh, antibodies and um, what's been going on with all this, the tests, test, test, positive cases, positive cases, 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 cases. What is a case? A case is just something saying, hey, this test shows that you have antibodies. Or this test shows X, Y, Z. In this circumstance, I'm going to use antibodies because that's been uh, the primary driver of you have antibodies, you have this. You have a case. Whether that means you have a case, that means you have it in your system, you're not having any sort of um, you know, negative things from that, you're not having any side effects, you're not feeling sick, you don't even have a headache, you don't, uh, no fever, nothing. But because you tested for it, you're a case. This is the first time this has ever been done, as far as I can recall, of cases being a, a big issue. Um, this thing that I'm talking about, they have stated is 99.97% survivable. You will survive this 99.97% of the time. A high percentage of that, I want to say over 50%, won't even know they have it. Even though they have a case, even though they're a case, won't even know they have it. Why is that? Well, like I said, the antibodies. Because you were tested, it shows antibodies. What else shows antibodies at times? Well, um, I have antibodies for chickenpox. Does that mean I'm infected? Does that mean you can get it from me? Am I contagious? Absolutely not. That means I had chickenpox when I was younger. Okay? Um, I have antibodies in my system for mumps. Does that mean I'm infected? Does that mean I'm sick? No, absolutely not. Did I have mumps when I was younger? No, because I started doing vaccines um, a, lot of, a lot more nowadays to the adults when they were younger. I had been vaccinated for things, and one of those were the chicken pox. I actually had the chicken pox. I had a, a full-blown thing of the chicken pox. Now I have chicken pox antibodies. That does not mean I'm infected. That does not mean I'm contagious. That just means I have chicken pox. Same way goes for mumps. Rubella, same way. Because you have antibodies to rubella, mumps, measles, doesn't mean you are currently infected. Doesn't mean you're currently contagious. That means you've had it and you got over it. Or, which is more so the circumstance nowadays, you got a shot when you were little or younger. Because of that, you produce these antibodies to that thing, the mumps, the measles, rubella. So your body's going to have those antibodies that it created. Same goes for uh, the, the uh, meningococcal pneumonia. I, I, that, I, I'm sure you have antibodies for that if you've had a, a shot for it, um, a vaccine as they call it. So where am I going with this? Well, where I'm going with this is because it's all about cases, the death count is way down. Um, the infection doesn't seem to be out breaking anywhere and harming anyone. This is one of the most mild things that I've seen, in my opinion, that I've come across. Once again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm asking questions, and I'm asking these things that I've discovered and I think are things that need to be answered. It's common sense. So why do you need to test um, healthy people? If people aren't sick or showing anything of being sick, why do they want to test them? So they can say there's another case? So what? Did they do this for chicken pox? I'll go back to that. Did they do this for measles back in the day? Do they do this for anything that's out there nowadays? Do they do this for any of the, the herpes, different herpes simplexes there are? Do they do this for any other virus thing, any other bacterial infection? Do they do this for anything out there? Have they? Absolutely not. Are they going to in the future? Well, if people don't start standing up and start using common sense and stop this craziness right now, I, for, I foresee that absolutely because it's, to me it's a means of control. It's a, it's a nice scapegoat for them to say this is why we have to do this is because we have all these cases. Even though 
all these cases don't mean people are sick and infected. Um, it's going to be detrimental, but because we convinced you to come in or we said if you're going to work here, you need to be tested, or you're going to go to school, you need to be tested. If you're tested and you show positive, well, then you have to quarantine for 14 days or 10 days or whatever they say, two months, and then you need to test two more times to show that you do not have an infection or you don't have, you're not a case any longer, then you can go back to living what, I'll, what will allow you of a normal existence, a normal life. This is, there's something deeper here. There's something larger. I just did a little bit of common sense here, talking about the cases and the antibodies, because all that's real. The antibodies are real. And it's not a new phenomenon. It's just the way it's been treated is foreign. And in my opinion, there's no sense to it. There's no, nothing involved that makes sense whatsoever. So. As always, thank you for watching. Stay vigilant, protect yourself, protect your family, and protect your wealth.